So welcome back to Good Day. We've uh, made it back inside. Yes. Uh, and we're not talking about vegetables anymore. Um, we're talking about chicken wings a little bit because that's your favorite. That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. But next to your favorite. Yeah. Amanda, it's probably Polish food, right? Yes. Because that's what you grew up on. Yes. And if you love pierogi and all its <laughs> fixings, we've got the event for you. And when we say fixings, I smell sauerkraut. Yeah, I smell it this too. This morning, our friend mm -hmm. Chef Adele, Ella Dudek if backstage eats and greets, no, let me try that again. <laughs> Our friend Chef Ella Dudek of Backstage Eats and Drinks joins us this morning. Good morning. Uh, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me back, guys. Absolutely. I appreciate it. We love having you here. Yeah, I know Look he's a plant eater. <laughs> Look at that plant eater. He's, he's a plant eater. eater. Well, under he's potatoes love in there. He's that, gonna have this. That's that's pierogi. Okay. Yeah. Love it. And that's how she greeted me too when I saw her this morning. She said, Hey plant eater. Plant eater. We, we got, got some kielbasa. Sauerkraut. Cabbage. Yeah. Capusta. 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 Yeah. Sweet, Sweet and sour, sour cabbage. cabbage. Okay. You can eat that. You can eat that. All right. All right. Yes. Thank you. You're gonna yes. Love so so I'll I'm cooking. eat all of the kibasa. So what, <laughs> what, what, is, what is this event that's So up? what we do every Thursday night at Backstage Eats and Drinks is we have Polish night. <laughs> because I am Polish, yes. girl. I'm Polish-Italian. It's a weird combination, I know. I'm that too. <laughs> but I take, uh, I take after my Polish side more than my Italian side. Mm -hmm. But it's the manja of, of the, the Italian side, side that comes into the Polish food. <laughs> so I said, we need to have Polish food in Toledo. Toledo. You, you can't, can't really find a meal in Toledo, Toledo right. without going to Stanley's or another place and finding and getting the uh, the ingredients, mm -hmm. then making it at home. Right. But to go to a restaurant, that doesn't happen, no. does it? Mm -mm. No. So, and I don't make it as well on my own. Really? I try, you know, I've done the Stanley's kielbasa, I've right. done it, you know, it comes so out okay. So I used to make kielbasa with my dad mm -hmm. and my uh, grandma, Dudek, and uh, when I was a kid. Stanley's is the closest to that kielbasa mm -hmm. that I can find mm -hmm. in this area. Yes. So Stanley's kielbasa is what we serve at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, we're happy to have their pierogies also. I make my own kapusta. You get a groomkey. Uh, stuffed cabbage. Tell them? Yes, please tell no, me. Stuffed cabbage. Stuffed cabbage. Stuffed cabbage. Okay. cabbage. Right. Yep. You get a groomkey. Mm -hmm. You get a piece of uh, Toledo history with Malchuski's chicken. Oh. Malchuski's wedding chicken. Okay. So Malchuski's was a Polish family in Toledo uh -huh. that had a great catering business here, um, and they retired. And when Mr. Malchuski retired, his kid Chris picked up his seasonings, and they started selling their seasonings, much like I sell mine. Uh -huh. So that's how I met the Malchuskis nice. when I was selling my seasonings one weekend mm -hmm. and I said I need to buy these because this week used to be on my table when I was a when kid. You were a kid, yeah. So they said our recipes are hard and my dad says that nobody <laughs> will do that. And I said I'll, I'll make it the way you want me to. You'll try. And that yeah, give chicken it a good go. Mm -hmm. is made in lard. Yeah. So we have a broaster fryer that we moved into <laughs> the restaurant when we mm -hmm. bought it, and we broast fry chicken. Okay. In, in lard, lard. The way that the Polish mm. people do. So <laughs> someone's, <laughs> someone's excited. Oh, I'm like telling you. Chef, well, let's, let's, let's get to cooking. What, All right, so, so we're going to flip these guys. In there. We, got, we just browned butter. up some butter. Mm -hmm. We got some pierogies going. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make you guys up a little plate here. Oh, look at with that. With some pierogies that... I got, I'm going to give you this, girl, mm. and we're going to get some. Mm. So these are mm. some samplings of the stuff that we have at the on our plate mm -hmm. over at, uh, you want some uh, sour, cream. sour cream, girl? Yeah, I do. Got to have that. Thank you. Okay, so so can, I, can, can, I, can, I, can I get a breakdown, uh, sure. Amanda? Oh. Uh, I need I need you to taste everything one by one. I'm going to talk to Chef Ella for you, a little okay. Come on, Stephen. So, okay. yeah, let's, let's chat. Let's get it on. She brought me a knife. So what <laughs> is the... Because you love to teach. Yeah. So tell me, what, what does it take to make a really good pierogi? Uh, it's the dough. It's the dough. The dough mm. is the key to the, a pierogi. Because you can put oh. anything in a pierogi. You can put mm. pizza in a pierogi. Mm. Oh, what yeah. Is, what is in this? It's not just potatoes. That's right? potato bacon on that Bacon. One. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So plan it around a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay, so, though. It's okay. So on this one, mm -hmm. like, we, there's, there are pierogies that just have capusta in it. Okay. There are pierogies that have farmer's cheese in them. Um, um, my friend Irene down at the Busha Shack or the Progi Shack downtown mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. makes crazy combinations. Yes. Like she has a uh, scrambled egg kielbasa. She has, yeah, breakfast. She one. has a breakfast mm -hmm. pierogi. Yeah. So it's totally about what you like. Okay. Mm. And like I could put greens in that pierogi and yeah. you'd be like, this is legit. Yeah, wow. You could there. do some spinach mm -hmm. and so you can, do, you do, do you cheese? I do not. Okay, so you're just straight up plant. Yeah. Wow, wow dude. Is, is that's that amazing. Is that okay? Yeah, that's great because <laughs> in this one that I would take, do you do... Uh, 
plant-based food? Like, yes, I do. Okay, so mm -hmm. like a meat substitute. Yep. I could take um, my Beyond Burger in there. And put it, and put it inside there. Yeah. there with go. some onion. And maybe even some, da some uh, dairy-free cheese. They have like Absolutely. daily cheese. Throw yeah. that in there. And that, that melts pretty good. So. Yeah, you could make a vegan uh, plant part of this recipe and there you could do that and that's it would work for you. That's nice um, to know. Yeah. Chef Ella, that's yes. the best pierogi I think I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not kidding. And These I've had great the, pierogies. the Stanley's kielbasa is, is delicious. Yes. How do you cook yours? So there's a couple ways that you can do it. Um, my family, we cook it up in straight up beer. Yeah, okay. okay. So, um, That's how I've done it. I mm -hmm. use jingling at the restaurant mm -hmm. to cook it in. And then what I do is I take that broth mm -hmm. and I cut it in half mm -hmm. and I add um, a chicken stock to that okay. and I make a kielbasa soup oh. with potatoes Delicious. and carrots and celery and Yum. onions and some garlic. But that's not beer right there, is it? No, that's straight up water. Okay, that's water. So, okay. Yeah, because I don't know how you guys feel in the morning. <laughs> well, you know, it cooks it out. It cooks out the alcohol, it does cook out. you know? So, in, in literally, the Polish, the Polish food is peasant food. Cabbage is cheap. Mm -hmm. Dough, mm. flour, mm -hmm. it's cheap. So when and our grandparents our grandparents, mm -hmm. our Bushas and our mm -hmm. Jajas yeah. didn't have money. You know, they grew up through the depression. Mm -hmm. So now you're dealing with Polish people in America do, through a depression. Potato. Sure. Flour. And that's how they were meat. able, and they made the food taste good. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. It's the love that people put in the mm -hmm. Polish food. Because there is so much love that is put in Polish food when mm -hmm. it's prepared mm -hmm. that it amazes people. One thing mm -hmm. that I have learned about Polish food is that it takes a lot of preparation. Yes, it does. Those, the pierogi. I, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the pierogi takes right. a long time. long time. And that's why when, when the bushes are in the basements yes, of the, um, the church. churches, mm -hmm. and they're rolling those pierogies, yep. they're rolling those pierogies with love. Because yeah. that mm -hmm. is just love. And that little round, little round and, and I forget and the name of the uh, the coffee cake type. Plot, the pot. The pot, yes, pot. that takes a yes. long time. Yes, and that's mm -hmm. uh, that's a double beat down with the yeast on that guy. <laughs> she does. So you got to you got to do you got to do two yeast builds on that before you can even do anything mm -hmm. with that. So that takes hours. Yeah, and so, Stephen needs some cabbage. And, oh yeah, he and, does. And for, it's delicious. For, it's for sweet anyone sour. who's looking uh, to take part in this Polish night, do they need mm -hmm. to make reservations? So or we strongly encourage reservations. Mm -hmm. And here you go, my friend. Yes. And um, we strongly encourage reservations. We're having a band this Thursday. Got a polka band oh. going on. We got a two-man polka band. Nice. Dwayne is coming in with this uh, Dwayne Jr. Uh, and they're gonna bring the accordion box and squeeze it in the corner. Nice. Maybe po people will be nice polka in the over in Savania. Let's do They'll it. be poking in the dining room. You can't poke anywhere else. You got a wooden that? floor somewhere. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what do you think? It's like sweet cabbage. Yeah. yeah. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. Thank it's you. It's not what you it's, would expect from cabbage. Not at all. No. Mm. But it's got a good ring to it at the end of that with mm -hmm. the sour, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Tell us again where you're located. We're at uh, 5680 Mayberry Square. Uh, we're right in Mayberry. Yeah. We're right you behind Centennial Terrace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Backstage Eats and Drinks. Got a big sign up there. Come out and see us. Uh, we would love to have you for our Polish I'm night. I'm so well okay. fed right now. Yeah, I know. You're you're in a great place right like, now. Like this is talking. everything you love. Mm -hmm. Yes, Just all of it. Someone bring it takes Amanda, me back to my childhood. Someone bring Amanda a few Ab chicken wings, too. And she'll, <laughs> that won't she'll be, be good. Be good. <laughs> Chef Ella, thank you so much. For thank you for having me. I appreciate me. it. I am, thank yeah, you. I'm all filled. If you say to me, this is cabbage that makes me feel like my boucha made Yes, absolutely. That is the best compliment and, and I get at my restaurant. All of it. It's like my bouchas. Exactly. So good. Thank you. Thanks for Thank being. you. We'll be right we'll back. We'll be right back. We'll take another bite. Mm. So good. I like this a lot. Mm-hmm.